So for this particular problem, I'm going to discuss how you can actually solve for the equilibrium concentrations if you're given a, uh, the, sorry, the equilibrium constant here. And so if you're given the value of K, as well as a few other kind of required essentials for these types of problems, you can solve for your unknown equilibrium concentrations. And so for this particular problem, I'm given that H2 gas plus Br2 gas will be in a reversible reaction or reversible equilibrium with two HBr gas. Now I'm given the equilibrium constant for that is going to be your 62.5. The equilibrium concentration for your H2 gas is going to be 0.22 molarity. The equilibrium concentration for your HBr gas is going to be 0.35 molarity. And I want to solve for the equilibrium concentration of the Br2. And so the first thing you should do with these types of problems, especially if they're saying anything about K, is write out your actual re ratios or your quotients or equilibrium uh, relationships, however you want to describe them. And so for this one, it's going to kind of follow the same routine as all the other ones in the past. We have our K equals our products, our HBr over the concentrations of our reactants multiplied. And so we have our H2 and we have our Br2. One thing I intentionally left off for now, just so I can kind of get out of the way here so you can see it, is your HBr has a coefficient of two. You need to make sure to account for this whenever you're writing out these quotients. By if you have a coefficient of two, it needs to be raised to a power of two. And so luckily for us, we have a lot of these variables already. We have our K already sitting right here. We have our HBr sitting right here. We have our H2 sitting right there. All of this is K. Again, K is very specific for equilibrium. And so we know all of these can be just plugged into this value solved for Br2 here. And so let me kind of go through and just rewrite this so you can actually solve for something. If we're solving for the Br2, we're just going to, again, I'm going to erase it and rewrite it. But basically, I'm going to multiply Br2 to this side. I'm going to divide both sides by K. And so these two right here will end up kind of swapping places. And so you have your K... And we have our Br2. And so the setup is not too horrible. Only thing for these types of problems that a lot of students tend to forget is going to be the squared. And so after that, it's nothing more than a plug and chug problem. And so we know that our HBr is going to be 0 0.35. Because the coefficient in the balance equation is 2, you need to remember to square that value. We know that our H2, 0.22, sorry, both of these should be molarity. I kind of left that off of here, just so I can be more specific. Molarity, still square. And then when we kind of have this bottom part, we have our K. And so when we kind of solve for this, again, like most things, you should kind of pay attention to your relationships. Your M squared here, this molarity, one of those molarities can so that molarity, your final answer should hopefully still be a molarity. This K we can replace with our value of K of 62.5. And so your equation that you plug into your calculator is just going to be 0 0.35 squared divided by, put all of it in parentheses, 0.22 times 62.5. Whenever I put all of that into my calculator, I end up getting 8.9 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity. And so again, this is going to be the concentration of your Br2 at equilibrium.